Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting show of the Weekend Vlog. This is the Weekend Vlog episode 53, and well, just welcome to the show. Now, I hope you guys did have a good Labor Day weekend. Um, of course, I didn't do... Uh, I didn't really do too much uh, for Labor Day weekend, of course. I've been here editing uh, out the movie. John Blaze said to be released this month. Hey, happy to say this month. We are happy to be releasing that out this month, guys. John Blaze, September 25th, 2015. That is a Friday, so if you're not doing nothing that special, special day, please tune in to either the YouTube channel, either the Daily Motion channel, and even also on the hit the hit website www.lucasdenafor.wins.com slash klpc all of those sites will be available for the movie so either one's fine with me as long as you guys see the movie and enjoy the movie when it comes out this month very very excited this is my sixth new movie to be released out for you guys and I hope you guys are ready to view it uh, of course the movie again is rated PG-13 so if you guys um, I look forward to the movie uh, if your description is advised to all my young Lucas Nation fans out there a little bit of swearing and a little bit of uh, uh, making love, I guess, but not so much of it. So, you know, it's mild, mild, PG-13, but please, viewer description is advised to all of you guys out there. Now, again, I did say, guys, and we did get some hits on it. Now, I did say when the uh, movie is coming out, uh, we're going to be doing a tribute to all the movies, all three of the hit movies that I've done, Sensation, Horizon, and Welcome to Paradise, will be released before John Blaze, just to pay a little bit of a tribute to the uh, movie and a little bit of tribute to John Blaze and all the other movies that I've done in the past that really hit uh, hit some good views on, so, you know, we wanted to do that uh, here from KLP Studios. We wanted to uh, do that out for you guys so you guys can see all three of the movies. Now, the first movie... That is released now. now. Now, this is only for, for Daily Motion. I forgot to mention that, guys. Only for DailyMotion.com only. Uh, you get to get all three of the movies there for, on that website. If you don't uh, want to use Daily Motion, if you want to watch it on YouTube, you guys can watch it on YouTube. You're just going to have to find it. Uh, Daily Motion is the newest thing that we have right now. So, you know, you guys are going to have to find that note out. So, just be be more aware of that, guys. If you guys want to uh, see that, you know, just be aware. Um, Daily Motion. Now, the first movie that's released out for DailyMotion.com is Sensation. Sensation is the musical film that I did back in 2000. I want to say maybe 2012, 2013. So, you guys, be sure to check that out on Daily Motion. You don't know what you're missing. Good movie. So, um, I have my handy daddy tablet here because sometimes on shows I tend to forget what I wanted to uh, talk about, you know, and I, we go through the editing, uh, editing the dub, editing, the dubbing stage and I forget, oh, I forgot to talk about this and that and the other. So the website has been fully updated, uh, the main website only, uh, the main three of the websites, slash live, slash media, and slash KLPC have all been updated uh, to the most current updates. Uh, slash KLPC, uh, that website is fully updated with all new anime. And again, we do want to talk about it. And I have my pod right here. We are going to talk about the website, uh, KLPC website. This is something we're going to start doing. Uh, talking about the website and, and who won number one. Now again, you guys have have been saying, uh, I've been hinting that certain animes will win number one and the top music and all of that. So I'm just going to go through again. Uh, you guys can, and this is something else I want to show you guys real quick. Like right here, if, if I can, if I can get you guys to see it, right here, you guys can have all four of my websites as an app. All you have to do is go to the website and save it to your bookmark and save it to your home screen. Once you hit that save to the home screen, it will be pretended as an app, so it will be quick for you guys to access. Very, very quick for you guys to access. So please be sure to check that out uh, for you guys if you guys are interested in doing that. Now we're going to click on the app. I like to say I like to say that I have apps here from KLB Corporations that we have apps for our stuff. So very very exciting. And there's also an app for Daily Motion. Uh, just go through your app store, type in Daily Motion, and then you'll have an app for that. Now of course once you add it, you go onto the website. I did add it some new photos. You know just in case you guys want to check it out. Now the top picks for the month. We're going to talk about that right now. Now, of course, the top page, you guys can go on the website, you guys can see it. Uh, I'm not going to show it too much because I really do want you guys to go uh, go see it. Now, the first, the game that won number one for the month will be Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Now, I did see a lot of um, 
reviews for the game, and of course I'm possibly going to do a sort of a podcast LP, uh, LP podcast thing that I do since we haven't been doing gaming and being podcast for a minute. We're going to be doing that out for you guys alongside with Tomb Raider. I know I said in the past I was going to do Tomb Raider as a podcast, but I just, I never, I, I'm in college and I never had any time for it, but I will be doing that uh, along the way. But Phantom Pain wins number one for me. Uh, I've seen the game. The very the storytelling is very good, and PS version is very awesome. I do have Metal Gear Solid, like the Ground Zero, uh, kind of a pre. They want to say pre pre log to the series, but you know I've seen uh, Ground Zero. I have that for PS3. Uh, X No Blade Chronicles X wins number two. Also a good game. We're probably gonna look at that too. You know I just. You know, never got around to that game. A Saints Row, a Get Out of Hell. Now, Get Out of Hell came out most recently, uh, not too long ago, but long ago, kind of. So that wins number three. And for your top three anime, of course, this portion is always hard to do because I love anime, and I it's hard to pick the number one anime for the month for me for Kelpie, but. Number one has to go to Absolute Duo, just because it has the action, it has the love triangle, and it has a little bit of sad moments into the show. So that's why it wins number one for this month. So that means this weekend, Absolute Duo will be in a podcast this weekend coming soon. So please stay tuned, guys, for the weekend to come for Absolute Duo's number one anime podcast. So. Sorry, uh, most people don't agree with me. I did hint that k might win number one. I did hit, you know, other animes may win, may win number one, but Absolute Duo kind of hits it for me. Number two, in second place is k on k on is another good anime to really get into. Um, I really do love that anime too because I love musical animes. Like if you go back to Angel Beats, they had a lot of musical music into it. So I, I love anime that express music. And this is what we're trying to do the drive with this anime thing because number three, uh, Sony Ani Super Sonico uh, wins number three for me. That is another anime that most recently came out and is also a musical anime. So we're trying to do this whole drive this month for you guys to have um, to have just music involved into the anime. So you guys can express that we're trying to hit more to the musical anime and still keep the action. So that's why Canon for second place and Super Sonico for third place. Now, I, I KOP Corporations, we it's hard to sort of do it's it's hard to sort of do sort of animes, you know, try to have them number three. Now again guys, go to your video, go to our video reel over here, you'll see the John Blaze trailer and the John Blaze OST, the official soundtrack, and of course the college life with Kennedy Lucas and friends. So please be sure to check that video out because that is, that is a very, very special video. Daily motion we had over a hundred and something views. I haven't really looked at the stats lately. And we did pretty good YouTube uh, views as well. So, you know, please be sure to check that out. And be sure to check out the video reel coming soon this weekend because we will, yeah, this weekend because we're going to be doing a dorm tour. Yes, we're doing a dorm tour, guys. So, uh, of course, for the Lucas Estate is what I like to call it. Now, I don't want to call it Lucas Manor anymore. Lucas Estate because we're like in a neighborhood, you know, like we, we have my room represents the house and then my roommate's uh, place and then my other roommate's place and this is a 12 suite that I live in so we're all in one big neighborhood so I call it the Lucas Estate something I like to call it just to be funny again guys uh, what's new with KOP Studios I'm telling you right now so you guys can just go look at it uh, we're gonna quickly do that because my timekeeper is telling me to wrap this just wrap the segment up I always go kinda overboard with it uh, your top three movies for the month will be Fantastic Four uh, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel again because we are going to be, as I get a notification, we are going to be, uh, we did do a podcast over Fantastic Four, so if you want to hear that, after this show here today, go down to my YouTube channel, you guys can see that podcast. Pixels! Pixels is another good movie to really get into, it express, you know, um, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and just your retro games, pixelated form, so please be sure to check that out. The third and last movie will be Spy. Uh, Melissa McCartney and uh, Judy Law and um, this girl, she's also in, um, this is where I leave you with Jason Bateman, I forgot what her name is, but star in Spy. And guys, for, uh, of course, the 
top music for again we're just talking about music uh tech nine wins number one and then miss j featuring timbaland you know and and Mia featuring chris brown and tyga do it again that also wins the top four and again guys you can go on this website to view the much watch lounge i have new videos set up for you guys there so please be able to watch it uh for you guys for that website thank you so we're going to take a quick commercial break but when we come back we got a little bit more to talk about stay tuned It's been really, really amazing that Daily Motion really got us caught up with views even bigger, better, and better. So I hope you guys have been watching uh, the shows, the podcast, and the College Life video. Um, again, I want to extend if uh, my uh, friends that was in the video, Naomi, Kayla, and Kaziah, uh, if you guys are watching today's show, I want to say thank you for that because, you know, that was actually my first collaboration video. I haven't done a collaboration video before till the last weekend we did the college life video so you know they're very excited to be doing all of that so now we want to shift gears a little bit now um comment below guys and for the people that's watching at home uh comment below who watched apple's keynote thank you apple's keynote uh was released is, is a video for all of you who don't know uh apple's keynote is like a uh informational show where they um, Apple brings out their newest technology like their newest iPads and their new iPods and all of that. Um, the Apple Keynote was actually pretty good. You know, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, we saw, I saw it last night. It came uh, out sometime last week, I want to say. Sometimes last week and they were just, you know, really introducing the new iOS and the uh, new uh, iPhones and iPods. Now we want to kind of kind of separate it now of course I want to talk about the iPhones because um, really really exciting to do now uh, while we're on the Apple subject and I think I missed it last weekend the last last weekend I didn't talk about it but Apple is doing their callback for the Apple iPhone 6 plus now they has been it has been word that the iPhone 6 plus cameras haven't been to their best quality and every time you take a picture or a selfie it becomes blurry and kind of foggy so what Apple is planning on doing, and they're doing it kind of right now until maybe October maybe, they're going to try, if you take your phone to the Apple store, and if you try to, they'll try to fix your camera, but if they don't have enough camera lenses, they'll replace a whole, your whole iPhone with a new iPhone 6 Plus. It's free, it's unlocked, it's a uh, free carrier, so you know you can get a free unlocked phone for free. Uh, when you mostly when you go and buy a phone that's unlocked, it costs a lot of money. But now they're having a, a recall where you trade in your old phone with a broken camera, and they give you a new phone with a fixed camera, free, so unlocked. So you can go to T-Mobile or AT&T and get it on that plan. So that's something that me and my brother actually might look into because you know free phone, you know. Um, Free phone, and I've noticed that on my pictures. On and you guys can see it on. Well, not all all of them on Instagram, but um, the the picture's been kind of blurry, and it hasn't been to the absolute best depth of field and best resolution. So you know, um, that's what I, Apple is planning on doing right now. So you guys can go in, go in right now. You guys can see all of the um, all the, all the uh, new phones that they they have to offer. Now this this is a limit time a thing so you know you get it now or you won't be able to get it so um, um you know just just be be more aware of that so um but back to the iPhones though they do have the newest phones out for you guys and they're making it a little bit better you know I've seen the keynote and I was actually impressed with the, how the new iPhones have the new multi-touch uh, application uh, of course their design they're going for the same design as the six the original six and the six plus they're going for the same uh, kind of design but a little bit thinner now it has been worried and I've seen this on all the other um, YouTube uh, channels that they also said the same thing they're making the phones even stronger than they were there has been theory that the iPhone 6 plus uh, like so like so the iPhone 6 plus is very bendable now if you think about it though who 
takes her phone and go like this and really bend it. You know, I, I'm, I appreciate Apple making uh, a change with their stuff and they're trying to make their stuff better. But, I mean, if you think, um, nobody really bends their phone. Like, nobody really takes their phone and really bends it, you know. So I really believe that that hasn't been a pressing issue uh, to me. Uh, most people out there have it. That's a huge, major issue. But nobody really uh, bends their phone, you know. But... It has been worried that their metal plates and their phones are getting stronger. Um, the retina screen, uh, the screen is getting better. Uh, the camera, of course, is getting ten times as better. So, you know, uh, again, Apple's just impressing their, their newest technology. Now, as we shift gears here, they didn't talk about the laptops because in the last keynote, they did announce the new MacBooks. Now, again, guys, you guys know what I think about the new MacBooks. I think it's cool. I think it's super slim, but I think I'd rather keep my MacBook Air 13 inch than to go and buy a whole nother computer. Now the MacBook it costs a little bit more than even more than the Apple uh, MacBook Air, and it only has one port. I really don't like how Apple combined every port into one, and you have that one port. Now with the MacBooks. You have a US, two USBs, you have the charge slot, of course, and the headphones jacks. As where the newest MacBooks, you have one cord. So you have to plug your music, your headphones, your charging, and your um, USB all in one. And I really don't like that idea because as people, and I think, honestly, and, and I'm just saying, honestly, I think the new MacBooks are for people who plays around with their computer. Now, if you are a YouTuber, photographer, a corporations owner, you know, you will want to have a computer that does more. Now, I want one with an SD card slot, like this one, like the MacBook Air, they have an SD card slot. So, you know, I'm very, very appreciative that I have all of those ports into one computer and that's why I think Apple Apple might have a downfall of that because Apple only had that one port and that is not made for for um, people who do multiple things like YouTubers, photographers, film directors, stuff like that. Now I do give them uh, problems about the Mac, the MacBooks here because my charger just broke so now I have to uh, earn some money to buy a whole nother new charger but you know I'm borrowing somebody borrowing a friends so uh, I think they maybe they make their charging slots a little bit stronger than the MacBooks just saying um, now we're gonna shift down to the iPads now the iPads this the new iPad is called the iPad Pro that is a tight ass device like that's so damn cool um, the iPads are ten times as bigger you know they're they're super huge almost have like the Samsung tablet type um, it's bigger um, and they added a what's called the uh, the Apple pencil now the Apple pencil is kinda like a stylus that you can use on your only for your iPad Pro which is kinda smart you know what well, honestly it's not really so smart because uh, what if you have somebody who have the iPad mini and they want to use the Apple pencil but it's only for the Apple uh, iPad Pro so they kind of lose I think in my in my opinion I think they kind of lose money on that because you know they only use one thing for one thing instead of why not have the Apple Pencil use it for the Pro the Mini and the iPad Air and the iPad 2 and iPad 4 because some people actually still got that you know I know my sister she has an iPad Mini still you know and my I think my big brother has an iPad Mini still because I mean who wants to buy a whole nother a new iPad if you just if you got one you know uh, I really will like you know an iPad even though this is not an iPad I have an Apple sticker but it's an Asus a member pad 7 but this is almost like an iPad if you ask me I mean the way I use it is like an iPad um, but um, back on subject though um, cool device and one thing I noticed uh, from the keynote that I watched last night the keynote they had somebody from Microsoft to come into an Apple event now that that's something I never thought could happen if you had somebody from Microsoft come in with in, into an Apple event and explore their Microsoft software onto Apple now I did do a segment back back when it was called when the show was called the today blog I did Apple versus Microsoft but now I kind of think that they're trying to cooperate a little bit with this. You know, a lot of people 
uh, most people don't use Pages. Pages is a uh, software, uh, writing software for Apple. Most people just go to Microsoft and Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. You know, that's what people do when you're in college, like me, uh, that do like have papers due or projects due and presentations due. You want to just go and go for Microsoft uh, Office, uh, Word, PowerPoint, and all that. So I think they had a good. That's a good idea where they had Microsoft onto Apple. Even today. I have Apple Word and PowerPoint onto my MacBook because, again, college students, excuse me, college students use that stuff. College students don't use pages and whatever software Apple's doing for that word processing for presentations. But I think Microsoft is the number one at that at that point because um, we most kids use and most college kids and most uh, people that's in college or in school use Microsoft, so it's always easier to use that instead of using whatever software that is that has to offer. Now I do want to bring out a, a just one note now and I know some fans might be mad at me when I'm about to say but I think Apple really really thinks hard about their presentation compared to Microsoft. Um, I, honestly in my opinion the keynote was very good. They had some videos. You know that's something Microsoft needs to learn to do when they're introducing their new products is they need to have videos, they need to have demos, they need to have all this other stuff. You know um, as we shift gears here on the keynote, uh, we're go uh, the keynote was very, very awesome, and they advocate the new Apple TV. Now, the new Apple TV is something I really want. You know, it, it's a lot of, uh, I think the guy said $169. I don't know how much it is, but um, just taking a stab at it, I really do want an Apple TV because um, very, very unique, you know. It's like, you really don't need cable. <laughs> I mean, if you have a Netflix and you have internet, that's all you really need for TV. You don't need a, a, a server like Xfinity or DirecTV. You just get an Apple TV. You can get Netflix, you can get Hulu, you can get YouTube, you can get all these other apps. And then with the new Apple TV, they got games, uh, game applications, and all of that put into this little, little tiny box. So I really do want an Apple TV because... Um, I, I, I do YouTube and I play games um, on my phone so you know I think that's a real real good um, advocated uh, system to use if you I don't want to say can't afford it but if you don't want all these cables and all these the cable bill the Xfinity bills and all of that you know um, go for an, go for an Apple TV because you know I want one you know um, and the last thing I really want to talk well not really want to talk about uh, is the Apple watch. Now again, they did explore on the keynote last night. They did explore a lot of, a lot of new things with the Apple Watch and not a lot of new bands and stuff. Honestly, and I'm not a hater because I really do. I would like one, um, but the thing is, I think, in my opinion, and I, this might just be a college kid saying this, but you know, I think, why pay that much for a watch? I think they're overpriced because most kids go for the Samsung uh, watch, LG watch that came out uh, a couple years back and it was around a hundred dollars. I would pay a hundred dollars for a smart watch than I would a thousand dollars for an Apple watch. Now again that's just my opinion. I know a whole bunch of YouTubers who have an Apple watch. Again that's just me saying it because I'm in college and we're on a budget when you're, on co when you're in college. But again I go for paid technology, I go for digital watches, I go for fossil, I go for just the watch because in my opinion within the Apple watch I believe that you know you can do all of that stuff on your phone. Just saying. And to be all to be to be all honest, guys, I, I'm not a hater and I'm, I'm just saying, why buy a watch where you can do the same thing on your phone, on the Apple phone? So it's like it's like the watch is like the phone but on your wrist, if you ask me, and, and that's that's just my opinion. And I've seen it in the keynotes and I've seen it in videos. That you know you can text from your watch, you can text, you can check your email, but you can do that on your phone too. You know, so it's like, you know, with the iPhones, they're not as expensive as the Apple Watch. Now I do can kind of agree with the watch because they're doing all these bands and the gold band and all these leather bands that goes with the watch. So of course, maybe it might be expensive for that reason. But in, in all honesty, I just think if you're gonna go get an Apple Watch, uh, just try to listen, look at. 
of course look on today's show, but look on other videos and try to compare. And if you really want one, go for one. But honestly, I wouldn't go for one. I would rather, with that money, I would rather go for the new MacBook or go for the, new, the iPad Pro than the watch. Because again, the way I use watches, the tail time, the see what time it is. Make sure I ain't late to something. That's it. So, again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. We did talk about a lot of good stuff today, guys. I'm very, very excited to be doing that again. Look for it for the rest of the weekend, of course, with today's show, but also for the room tour and the podcast shows. Of course, Absolute Duo, they're going to get their anime uh, podcast this weekend since they did win number one for September. Please be sure to check on the lookout for my Instagram account. I have everything linked in the description below, so just scroll down. you see everything that you want to see. My Instagram account, my Facebook, my Twitter, Dailymotion, and of course my website. So be sure to check that out. And be sure to be on the lookout for John Blaze coming out September 25th. That is a Friday. We're going to be advocating that all over. All over Twitter, all over Instagram. So please be sure to check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. As of right now, I'm Kennedy Lucas, logging out.